Welcome back. You can check the shelves at the supermarket for infant baby formula and you may be out of luck. Those shortage woes continue across the country. Some parents face desperate attempts to feed their hungry babies like finding formula alternatives. Our Stephanie Poole joins us in the studio with more details. Stephanie. That's right. Health professionals say some families are giving their babies whole milk and goat's milk as substitutes for their infants. But the chief concern is making sure they get the proper nutrition. One question on many parents' lips is, will my child be okay? Parents across the country are scouring store shelves in search of a scarce commodity baby formula. Well, I mean, it's scary for any new mom. Dr. Calvin French is a nurse practitioner with Children's Health Center in Columbus. He says from not having enough formula to not having the right formula, newborns receiving limited nutrition is alarming. They may not be able to take the different formulas that you can go to uh, Walmarts or Walgreens and pick up, and it may be a specialized formula. Just this week in Memphis, Tennessee, two babies were admitted to La Bonner Children's Hospital due to formula shortage. You just can't switch them to another formula. They actually have to stay on that particular formula, and if they don't, then, you know, then it becomes life-threatening for them. Some parents are turning to the dairy section. They are deficient in certain uh, types of um, uh, vitamins and stuff that we need. If you look on the label of whole milk, you'll see this. Iron is only 0.1%. Vitamin D is 15% and calcium is 20%. Most uh, formulas are iron fortified. Kids need that iron. That's very important the first year of life. And not only the iron that they need, they also, there's a lot of more nutrients in the formulas that they need because they've got bone growth, they've got uh, brain growth, and uh, kidneys are forming and everything. Government leaders are forming a plan to get formula back on the shelves. Today, the Biden administration highlighted its intentions to make sure rural areas are supplied with formula. Liz Charlotte, Communications Director of Mississippi State Department of Health, tells WCBI this, quote, while participants of Women, Infants, and Children's Nutrition Program now obtain formula from signed up vendors like grocery stores and pharmacies, the WIC staff is in communication with manufacturing and wholesalers to learn more about where shortages exist. Mississippi WIC met with USDA on Friday to determine options and develop a plan of action. Until then, parents should consult with their pediatrician for advice on how to best feed your infant. The Biden administration officials say the USDA website lists which states have WIC waivers available.